Behind the Badge, brought to you by Big O Tires. For anyone who's ever wanted to be a firefighter for a day, a few lucky people in Salt Lake County recently got their chance. It's part of Unified Fire Authority and their local union's fire school. And this year, they invited me to go in today's Behind the Badge. Rushing into burning buildings, saving lives, or ripping apart cars. It's a daily job for firefighters in Salt Lake County. I, I want you to watch the fire, watch what it does. But today, they're not putting out fires. Unified Fire Authority is holding fire school, letting a select few see what it's like to be a real firefighter for a day. Like public figures, including different city council members, PR, or tech people, and the only Utah journalist invited, yours truly. Firefighters want those of us with a public voice to make sure we're basing what we know about firefighters from something other than what you may see in the movies. A lot of it comes from like Chicago Fire or Reno 911 and obviously TV doesn't reflect reality. It's different to put turnouts on and actually move in them and then you have a sense of how hard the job actually is. Today's fire class is more than just getting a front row seat. The helmet that you have is not what we currently use. Right, but those were at one point frontline helmets. Firefighters had us gear up in fire pants, work. jackets, masks, and helmets to see how well we could handle a hose and put out real flames. It puts on a ton of BTUs because it's made of plastic, right? So it's extremely hot. I learned if you don't hold the hose just right, it can get away from you. Oh, yeah. Once the fire was out, it was time to tear things up. What we're going to do is just show you kind of just a basic scenario on a vehicle. Unified's heavy rescue techs taught us how to rip open a car with heavy machinery to potentially save someone stuck inside. When you compare how we did Bobby, you got the back here. to how quick and clean heavy rescue techs can cut through it, City leaders say it's easy to appreciate what these firefighters can do. Surprised me how heavy things are. I mean, I thought I was I was a fit person. I could run around, maybe in all this get up, but it's you can it, you'll get worn out very quickly. Eye opening for sure. It underscores the value that they provide. Um, I think oftentimes we're we're a little bit oblivious to that, right? To help us gain that higher perspective, they also had us climb a 100-foot engine ladder. Fire school isn't just about what city leaders can see. It's also about what they can't see. And for that, they send them through this confined spaces drill. We do a lot of things blind in house fires, and we do a lot by feel. The idea is that I'm able to walk around a house or crawl around a house, and by feel, I can tell you if I'm in a kitchen, a bathroom, and I can feel windows in the dark, I can find points of exit. So that is what that's simulating, is teaching us how to trust our other senses. Getting a sense for fighting fires, cutting open cars, or even what they need responding to hazmat situations. Fire school was a full education. It's far more than what I expected. <laughs> for me, maybe too hot to handle. It's hot. Others gain more than they thought. You know, a man or woman's judgment is only as good as their information. And so coming here and seeing what they do firsthand, it gives you perspective and respect for who's coming down the street to help you out. Firefighters hope that new view carries over when the same city leaders make decisions on fire funding, ensuring this impressive demonstration is also the same one that responds to your house when you have a real fire. Now, something else I learned at fire school, for every house fire call they get, Unified sends out three fire engines, a ladder truck, an ambulance, and a battalion chief. And typically, that wipes out the staff of their three closest fire stations.